Hi guys, Anil here. Welcome to another session. Uh, in this session, we'll see how to solve factorial problems, right? So to find how to find the factorial of a number, right? Before that, let me tell you what how to find this factorial, right? To find the factorial of of a number, we have to multiply all its previous number and itself. Like if it's five, I want to find the factorial of five. So how to do that? Let me do that five is equal to not remove 5 factorial equal to uh, 5 factorial remove this yeah factorial of 5 is equal to 5 into 4 then 3 into 2 then 1 so what would be the multiplication result here 120 so 120 is the factorial of 5 now suppose i'll find the factorial of 10 what would be the factorial here 10 then 9 then uh, 8 so on it will continue till 1 right so in this way we can find a factorial considering these points we can uh, uh, write our program right i am creating one class here in this class we will write this uh, program we will solve this program right factorial and take me this main method and finish it right we have uh, yeah we have created the class now we will create one more method where we can write our program Right, create here public static public static uh, word uh, fact right so in this uh, method we'll write our factorial programs here give me this uh, input to this method uh, num this number uh, like uh, I'll be passing the value of num from main method and here create this uh, variable fact right now in this fact I'll be uh, multiplying uh, numbers right if it's a 5 then I'll be multiplying a fact into 5 into 4 like that and in this for loop I'll be iterating all the numbers here create this uh, int i equal to uh, number number I'll be starting from the maximum number then i greater than equal to 1 till i greater than equal to 1 it will continue the loop for loop then here i minus minus right now what I'll do now i'll just multiply this number i value to the fact right fact is equal to fact into i fact into i to into i right now what will happen in the first iteration uh, fact value is one and the number is five right so what will be the fact now uh, one into five right it will be five one into five right one into five equal to now fact value will be changed to five equal to 5 equal to 5 right in the next iteration i value will reduce to 4 and it will be 5 into 4 equal to 20 now the fact value will change to 20 now again 3 it will be 10 it will be 60 like that it will continue till 1 i get than equal to 1 in the same value we can print using our println method here a fact right uh, yeah the now our program is ready right now if i'll uh, execute this program i'll go first let me call this program from the main method factorial dot fact and uh, let me pass five let me find the factorial for five five we should ex uh, we should expect one twenty right the output uh, now let me run and see what is the output now uh, yeah we got one twenty right expected right now let me find the factorial of 10 yeah past 10 and see the what is the output i should get more right mm, yeah. yeah we got uh, 362 double right that that this is the uh, program we have to write to find a factorials right and uh, i hope you got uh, this uh, program right how to solve this factorial problem and uh, yeah, still if you have any doubt uh, related to this program you can always comment in the comment section i'll clear your doubt right and uh, yeah that's all for today's uh, video and uh, thank you very much guys for watching my video if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel